Newcastle has been. It's a glorified business, it really is, and Newcastle fans get irritated. Bye, girls. Bye, Dada. Transfer deadline day with both Manchester City and Liverpool hoping to do big business before the window closes at 11 p.m. So, caught the train in the morning, off to Harlington for our first stop of the day at um, Harry's press conference. No doubt there'll be talk of players in, players out, as well as um, tomorrow's big game against Burnley. Sky Sports are here, as expected. Morning, mate. I'm here with Paul and Ian with the club. Is that okay? Thanks a lot. Good morning. Morning, Harry. Good morning. Once again, deadline day is upon us. We hear you had a, what a nuisance. A nuisance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolute nuisance, isn't it? Could do without it. We've got a game tomorrow and night. Phone don't stop ringing, you know, you've got most important thing is Burnley tomorrow. So he's, he's a big loss. And with Danny Simpson as well, I mean, you must have thought maybe yeah. there was a black cat stuck in your tree. No, well, you know, de you, know, de you know, losing Danny, but um, say you've got near them. Yeah, yeah, he's randomly woke up at four o'clock um, with a number of deals going on in my head, um, working out what profiles needed to be done, what we needed to write up, what we needed to get ready. Currently just writing up the Aaron Hughes um, exclusive, a uh, good one, um, obviously in the, with the news that Danny Simpson's out for um, a long period with a back injury, so yeah, currently working on that uh, and sure there's more to follow. Stay there, just need to do a quick test. Aaron, welcome to QPR. I don't think you've Thanks. ever played outside the Premier League. Why have you taken the decision now to drop down into the Championship to join QPR? Uh, to be honest, I didn't really see it like I was dropping down. I seen it just as a, a, a different challenge. Um, it's an opportunity for me to come and um, you know hopefully get some games and play a bit of football between now and the end of the season. Um, you know, sort of looking at it, maybe the opportunity to, to play wouldn't have been as great if I had stayed where I was. So, um, you know, it's it's a new challenge and a different one and, and one that I'm really looking forward to. Fit and available? Uh, yeah, fit and available and, um, you know, I'll, I'll hopefully get ready for training and, and sort of just see, see where we go from there. Brilliant. That's great. Thanks very much, Aaron. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you. Great stuff. We'll just get some photos now. Yeah, of course. Okay. QPR is a huge club and I'm very happy to be here. I've always watched English football as a kid, so it is great to now be part of it. And last bit, I will give everything for the shirt and do everything to honour it. Thanks, Paul. Teams that he's uh, joined from. Uh, Harry Ridnap has uh, been speaking about him. He's a young player from Brazil who our scouts have watched and liked. And he says, I'm very excited for this opportunity. QPR is a big club and I'm very happy to be here. He's been uh, pictured uh, at the club today. Well, it's handy that we've got uh, Harry Redknapp uh, alongside us today, uh, Jamie. Uh, great to have you with us, of course. Don't ask me too much about it. <laughs> yeah, tell us everything about the you know, <laughs> 20 <laughs> now, no. As far as, um, you know, the, the business that your dad is having to do uh, at QPR today.
you're doing now. Right. Cool. Right. It's a weight. Please, we can do it. Just one Do you know a few of the lads? Carl. Yeah, Carl, Richard Dunn, David. Kevin, a bit of a whirlwind 24 hours. How's the move come about? Well, yeah, usually just get a phone call and uh, you know everything was agreed pretty quickly. And obviously, delighted to come here and be part, hopefully, of. Uh, a very good team and we have a great chance of, of going up again, so looking forward to it. Leaving Harlington, heading back to Loftus Road, Kevin Doyle is now confirmed. He's a QBR player and is expected to be in, the, if not the start in the 11, certainly in the QBR squad for tomorrow's game against Burnley. Heading back, as I say, to W12. Let's see what the next few hours have got to see. Always a bit hurried and a bit rushed because the players need to have their lunch, get on with the rest of their day, but it's, um, yeah, good stuff today and just the beginning. Mr. T is on the phone, he wants his hair. <laughs> he's probably he's probably quiet. Okay, so we're leaving the training ground now, just as the rain comes down, and heading back to Loftus Road for what promises to be a busy old afternoon. Kevin Doyle's in the bag. We've still got a uh, sky broadcasters are out there waiting for pictures. One or two more arrivals hopefully by the end of the day but otherwise it's been a good day. And the high tide and it's going to be like that for the rest of today we've been told and already as slow because of flooding the A2 rock press Again, that's the office for the rest of the day. Passing Loftus Road, trying to find somewhere to park. Welcome along to London Calling on this special deadline day day three hours 58 minutes so we're up against the clock but um we're here and there's still a few people in the offices so um i think it'd be fair to say that maybe there is still a little bit more business to come but we'll we'll wait and see in front of the cameras against a, a team that we're almost tussling for for that second spot as things stand 
The phone is never off, is it, Ian James, on, on, on transfer deadline day? Taking a call from Chief Executive um, Philip Beard. Let's hope the microphone it, 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 isn't picking air, everything up. I was up. expecting some transfer news, but you, you're only calling to ask me, where are the pizzas? This is incredible, um, <laughs> which is vitally important news, I would have to say. Well, while this, while this conversation goes on, they're, they're regarding... They're on the third floor. On the, on, we're going to have to put okay, the whole show um, on hold. Yes. Philip Beard needs to be right, fed. Right. He needs his I'll, pizza. I'll, ring, I'll get Webby to ring you. Webby's got them. <laughs> OK. And Please bear, bear, bear with us. Ourselves. Thanks for joining us, Phil. An exclusive interview there with the QPR the CEO, he Philip Beard, Phil on transfer Phil deadline day. We bring you all the big names right Pepperoni. here on London Calling exclusively. Philip Beard reveals to us he's up for a pepperoni pizza and wants to know exactly where it is in W12. In Milan have somewhat jumped the gun by saying that the deal's done. It's, it's not done. It, it will get done, I'm sure, but um, we're waiting on a couple of acknowledgements from, from a couple of the governing bodies to sanction the deal to get it over the line. I mean, me and you, I remember we were sat with Darren Ambrose, weren't we, a couple of years ago when Neil Warnock was here and Darren Ambrose was in the shirt, we'd interviewed him, everything was done, and then all of a sudden Palace had a takeover and the deal fell through right at the last minute. So as a club, we will only announce something uh, if it's A, complete, or B, awaiting international clearance. Have to ignore but, Ian no, on the, the end there. He's just updating, show, updating eh? Sky as to the latest developments here at Loftus Road. Julio uh, Cesar to Leeds, apparently. Incredible. Is, is that rumor? true? No, I don't yeah, think so. Right, there we go. Right. Cleared up <laughs> as quickly as it came to life. Um, I will uh, just say to you that the Adele Trap transfer that we said hasn't been completed has now been completed. So that's done. So that is done. That's another deal done. We'll, the boys behind the scenes are, are going to push that out, even though Milan have jumped the gun, but yeah. we'll push that out. So Adele Trap joining AC Milan on loan until the end of the season. Now so That's confirmed. now confirmed. Yeah. So best of luck to Adele Trap. Yeah. And very finally, Ian, um, before we go, do you think there'll be more activity between now and 11 o'clock for the Rs? Look at that. Put him on the spot there. Yeah, the hey, put him on the spot. Let's see. Boom. Let's see. Three hours to go. Um, plenty of pizza still to be. And I think, I mean, I was up at four this morning um, getting, getting some incredible. Kevin Doyle yeah. stuff ready. Um, ridiculously. I don't know what I was doing <laughs> up at four. Um, I'm fully expecting a 20-hour day, but I wouldn't want it any other way. So I'm saying, well, it's still okay. so it's all going to be a bargain. Yeah. Whatever you want, Mazza. One, two, one, two. Well, Will, welcome to QPR. Having spent a month on loan at Wigan recently, you had a taste of the championship. How, how much are you looking forward to your spell here at QPR? I'm really looking forward to it. Um, obviously, I played a few games at Wigan and had a good taste for it and en enjoyed that. Um, I was looking to get a bit more game time there, but it didn't quite work out. So I'm coming here now, uh, looking forward to the opportunity and hoping to help the team. And I mean, the, the the aim is to get the team back up to the Premiership. So hopefully, I can help towards that. It certainly, should be. And I guess from your point of view now, you just can't wait to get started. Yeah, I'm just very eager now to get into the games, and they come thick, thick and fast in this league. So I'm just looking forward to the to the challenge, and very excited about being here and getting involved with the team. So. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Cheers, well, that's great. Thank you. Thank you.